What is going on, on YouTube? Uh, so we got a new transmission project going. Uh, so I'm gonna be trying to swap in a 4T80 transmission into the Grand Prix. Um, I bought this transmission off of eBay, um, shipped to my door for $380. So pretty good price. It only had 67,000 miles on it. And it's coming with a better gear ratio than it had before. Um, with the stock one. So stock is 293 uh, gear ratio and then this is a 371 gear ratio. Um, so you can actually get these transmissions out of almost any North Star V8. Uh, this one came out of a 4 liter uh, Oldsmobile Aurora um, from 1998. And I'll show you a little bit about the differences between the two transmissions. All right, so first things first, obviously there is a huge size difference as far as the output side of the transmission. As you can see right here, this is much more girthy. Um, should add a lot more rigidity to the transmission overall. Um, I do know that there are some issues with uh, clearance and everything on this transmission, so this might have to be shaved down a little bit with a grinder, but hopefully nothing too major. Um, some other differences that you'll notice probably right away, there's a dowel pin right here. Um, when on the stock 4T65E, there is no dowel pin, it's a through hole, so this will have to be drilled out. And then uh, down here, the hole is actually reversed, so this one would have mounted to the V8, where this one mounts from the engine block to the transmission. So. This will have to be figured out on the engine side of things once I get that mounted up. Um, some other things to note. So transmission is normally mounted at the back side of North Star trend, or, uh, cars. So the back and the front both have mounting positions. And on a W body, uh, the mounting positions are on the side and the top. So uh, we'll take a look at the side over here that I'm gonna start off with and have probably the most difficult figuring it out. All right, so for the mounting side of things for the uh, stock 4T65E transmission, it's a pretty simple transmission mount that bolts to the side of uh, the side cover housing. But if you notice on the 4T65, or on, sorry, if you notice on the 4T80, you have this big housing or this big side cover that's much bigger than the stock uh, 3800 housing or stock side cover. So I'm going to have a difficult time being able to mount it in the same spot. So what I'm probably going to do is use a bracket down here, just an L bracket, uh, and probably drill the holes in the right location um, to mount it up on the trans for the uh, side of the transmission. Now I want to be able to make this not a solid mount because um, solid mounts you, you can break things pretty easily as far as like an aluminum subframe, which I'm going to run. So I need to figure out how to make it more flexible, but we'll discuss that in later videos probably. Um, other than that, um, dipstick is on top. Uh, I might have some issues mounting the turbo as well because this seems a little bit taller than the uh, stock 4T65. So I'm going to have to probably play around with this a little bit as well to get it to work, but it shouldn't be um, too big of an issue in the long run. So what I'm going to do to mock this up is luckily I have a used uh, old subframe out of my car. This was the steel one and I replaced it with an aluminum one, uh, which is currently in the car still. But I can still use this because it has the same mounting points and everything as the aluminum one does. So there are a few things that I still need. I need to get an engine mount bracket, lower engine mount bracket, because that one's on the car, and I need to find a used or just any engine mount uh, to mount to the bottom of that. I already found uh, one of my old transmission mounts. I'm not sure if I'll be able to use this one uh, based on what I just, just discussed with you a little bit ago. Um, but then also I have my old uh, engine that I blew up when I ran water in the oil. Um, so that's probably one of the only ways you can kill a 3800. All right, guys, so just a little update for you. Uh, there's a dowel pin right here that I had to remove. 
um, and as you can see I removed it with a drill. Um, if you're going to do it this method, be very careful um, and I recommend using the clutch on your drill um, because I bent one of mine, but uh, there's other methods that you can do to remove it. Um, you can press it out with oil from the back side because there's plenty of, there was plenty of gap on the back side of this. Alright guys, a quick update. So, as I've heard in the past, or from other people, um, this bolt, or this portion right here of the engine block, needs ground away, because it's about to contact this portion of the transmission. And then, if I had a light down here, it also might hit, I don't know if you can see it from this angle, but very, very close all the way along here and then of course we got to remove the uh, knock sensor right back there as well so I'll keep you guys posted and see how this goes